Welcome to 360 Degree Machinery. If you have any questions, comments, or surplus machinery you would like to sell, you can reach us at info at 360degreemachinery.com or by dialing 630-229-6705. For an up-to-date list of machines, visit us on the web at 360degreemachinery.com or subscribe to this channel. In addition to what is on our website, we have 50 plus machines being processed as our inventory changes daily. So check back often as we do not list machines until they have been thoroughly cleaned and tested. Also remember that our full inventory is located in house and that we do not broker tools to guarantee quality. We are gonna do a walkthrough of a Dodds C48J drawer clamp. This is a heavy duty, vertical, well-maintained, clean, universal drawer box clamp with a fixed left jaw and motorized adjustable right clamping jaw. The operator loads a drawer front and pair of sides into the clamp, then activates the clamping head with dual palm controls. This machine does have a drawer height capacity of two to 15 inches, a drawer depth capacity of six to 28 inches, and the width can be up to 48 inches with four inches being minimum. This is a Dodds C48J. Um, it does have some updated controls on it. On the back, of course, you do have uh, a scale with a cursor. So it's really easy for your operator to get to where they need. This is a dual palm operated machine. So you're gonna come in here. For safety to close your jaws, you do have to use both of your hands. Now here it says close. This is this is machine has a little bit newer logic to it than it was originally built with. Uh, by the way, your solenoid switch in here is brand new and so is this. There is no close here. The logic will not allow you to close it. That's for safety so your operator can't stick his hand in here and close it. You use this simply to open. That is the only function of the joystick. This also does have a pressure bar. I'll explain that. So basically we're just gonna take a two by four and right now that is below your pressure bar. So if we close it, it's gonna to come together. It's gonna to squeeze to whatever PSI you set it at. And again, it's, it's holding really well. You can see I can't pull it out. So the ball, but that's pretty much the ball screw just stopping, you know, so your air motor has now stopped. Uh, your ball screw has stopped and that's what's holding it in. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open it up. And again, right here, this is, a, when you ever put a drawer in, you're gonna hit this pressure bar. And so let's pretend that that's a drawer. When we close it now, that's gonna keep that air motor engaged. That's the blow by you here. That's actually the air coming out of the back of the air motor. And so what it is, is you are now literally holding with that air motor and the higher you go up, you'll actually hear the air motor actually engage. If you were to turn it up right now, we're set at about 40 PSI, so relatively lower PSI. We might even be about 35. Um, and again, to release it. Finally, we're just gonna jog this machine open and close to show you that it will move all the way open and all the way close. Again, you use the joystick just to open for safety. And again, double palms for safety to close. The noise you hear in the background is our Quincy rotary screw turning on.
If you have any questions or comments, you can reach us at info at 360degreemachinery.com. Again, thank you for tuning in to 360 Degree, helping you buy with confidence.